Samantha B. Welcome to Full Frontal. Ever since voters invited a bunch of state-smashing, wall-building, America-first Breitbart aficionados to slither out of their swamp and run the country for a while, we've been introduced to so much of their subculture's fascinating slang, <laughs> one angry, insomniac rage tweet at a time. This week, we learned yet another cool new phrase. See if you can spot it. We've been warning you about the deep state Obama holdover government bureaucrats who are hell-bent on destroying this president. We're talking about the intelligence community deep state. The deep state bureaucracy and the deep state media. Left-wing deep state forces. Deep state conspiracy. The deep state that we talk about, they're out for blood. The deep state is so deeply buried in its deepy deepness, Sean Hannity had to pull it from the depths of his ass. Just to be clear, that was the nation's number one cable news station mainstreaming one of the far right and far left's favorite conspiracy fever dreams straight into our president's gullible eye holes. His main concern right now is Obama. I mean, the guy set up a bunker just down the street from the White House. Um, he's got a, a mansion, he's got the offices, he's got a shadow White House just within two miles of Trump. Obama could spark something on the order of a civil war here. God, you guys get so upset every time a black guy moves into the wrong neighborhood. <laughs> the deep state is like polio. It exists, just not in America right now. The deep state, the term comes from Turkey and Egypt. It's from authoritarian context, and it usually refers to groups that perform false flag operations, assassinate people. The deep state is an alt-right term which is misapplied. It's a security apparatus that actually runs the state, and the democracy is just a fig leaf. Trump is trying to blame any of his failures on this sort of shadowy bureaucracy. It's a very dark view of what are effectively career bureaucrats. Career bureaucrats who are thrilled to finally have something interesting to put on their J-date profiles. <laughs> Turkey and Egypt have shadowy government assassins. America's sinister junta is an insubordinate park ranger tweeting that climate change is real. Traitor! Perjure! When asked if the White House really sees this deep state as a threat, Sean Spicer took a break from slowly disintegrating before our eyes to share his deep thoughts. I don't think it should come at any surprise that there are people that uh, burrowed into government during eight years of the last uh, administration and, you know, may have believed in that agenda and, and can want to continue to seek it. Burrowed into government. He wants you to believe that these rogue deep state infiltrators are poison-blooded mole people and not just bland paper pushers who lucked into a government job with benefits. But contrary to President Trump's unofficial security briefings, the federal bureaucracy is not a left-wing shadow government run from the Obama's kitchen in Calorama. Federal employees are almost evenly split between Republicans and Democrats. The other 16%, of course, are Area 51 employees who have different political parties on their home planet, wake up sheeple. If federal employees are chatting on Signal more than usual, it's because they're terrified. Think of them as passengers on a bus that's now being driven by a feral, paranoid monkey. They're not trying to kick him out of the driver's seat. They know we chose the monkey to be the bus driver because Hillary Clinton used email and was a woman, and they respect that. They're just trying to turn the wheel slightly while the monkey is masturbating so we don't run over a cliff. And frankly, even the monkey should be in favor of that. By the way, some experts say that the problem isn't necessarily that the state is so deep, it's that Trump's talent pool is so shallow. Well, the cool thing about the government is it gives you an option, if you're the new administration, for putting your stamp on the agencies, which is to put your people in the agencies, to appoint a secretary, an undersecretary, a deputy undersecretary. The President, President Trump's administration largely has not done that. You can't really blame these agencies for resisting you or blame a deep state if you haven't put your own people in uh, to actually run the agencies yet. There are, oh, what, about 2,000 jobs political appointees that have still not been filled. Look, those jobs will get filled just as soon as Mike Flynn and Rudy Giuliani get busy cranking out some more sons. Until then, there's nobody running the shop. The intelligence agencies are leaking like Nana's depends after three pots of Sanka, and it's driving Team Trump clinically insane. Donald Trump is the victim. His campaign is the victim. His transition team is the victim. His surrogates are the victim. Yeah, why can't a white male billionaire with an army ever catch a fucking break? <laughs>
panicked hyperbole aside, I agree that things are not going awesome. It's not healthy for a country's president and intelligence apparatus to be fighting like the real housewives. But perhaps we should consider these leaks the phlegm of democracy. <coughs> They're a sign that something is very wrong, yes, but also that your system is fighting it just the way it's supposed to. What's more troubling is that the deep state can be whatever the person in power wants it to be. The deep state is Barack Obama wiretapping Trump's microwave, and it's the agencies who can't find evidence of the tapping. It's anyone who ruins Donald Trump's perfect presidency by sabotaging him in the press. It's the analysts whose facts disagree with his. It could even be the universities that churn out operatives for the secret state within a state. Okay, confession. <laughs> I myself am a proud alumna of Deep State, where I majored in un-American activities and Spanish. I even lettered in date rape self-defense. Still got my jacket. Go fighting moles! <laughs> this year? <laughs> Clear eyes, dark arts, can't lose. We'll be right back. <laughs>